birthday ko, Chichuan, and to my fellow classmates. I am Jonathan Martinez, and today we will discuss the different factors affecting individual differences of children. And I will be the one who will give the introduction to individual differences. Introduction Nature's principle is the similarity. that affecting individual differences of each children based on www.urbanchildinstitution resources publication data book 2013 children's surroundings have a huge impact on their well-being a healthy a, he, a healthy safe home is essential for a children to grow learn and explore a problematic home environment by contrast can have a detrimental effects on a children's intellectual, social, and emotional development. Research has shown that a negative home environment during the early years of a life can lead to impaired development of including poor language skills, behavioral problems, deficits in school readiness. A child's early home environment has also been linked to longer-term outcomes including high school, 
graduation, teen parenthood, adult employment, adult employment and earnings. Brain imaging stu studies suggest that growing up in a dis uh, disadvantaged or stressful environment can cause the brain to develop differently. Studies of young children have identified distinct parents of a brain activities associated with family incomes and other social economic factors that relate to social and emotional development, development, cognitive ability and learning and memory. Okay? We human as a different in our personalities and behaviors. The change the changes of course when we are exposed in our environments, ethnicity, religion and beliefs. During at our child years, the child years will be the most influential years because we don't have a good mentally and we are unconscious to decide what is good and suited for ourselves. The environment, ethnicity and religion and also beliefs are the factors that play a huge role in making the people, especially the children, to become different to others. The children develop his uniqueness character due to his surrounding or environment, where he limits it is practice to do the same thing. Like for example, if your family are active in doing some responsibilities and they show so much sweetness or love to each other, we can see impact that you as a child will also have the characteristics as you grow give that you're already exposed to that kind of behaviors and practices the second factors is it is it is the ethnicity we all know we are all know that ethnicity is related to a customized, a customized practices in ethnicity whether you are bisaya Ilocano, Ilongo, or Sambongueño, like for example, in ethnicity of Sambongueños, we have different customized practices that includes the foods we cook and we prepared in different celebrations or events. That's why most of Sambongueños children are prepared to eat kumba, papaitan, and natsyon, dan tubical express, and other foods from different ethnicities. The third factor that influences the difference of children is religion. The, re the religion are one of the main reasons why we have a different personalities, behaviors, and customized practices. Because a religi religion has a different pra perspective, uh, perspective, especially in religion matters, where the Catholic people are believing that Jesus is the God, where the Muslims are also believing that Allah is the only God. Catholic children believe in the statues while the, where the, while the Muslims are not believing on it. The fourth factor is the beliefs. The children has their own beliefs that they gain through the influence of families and religion. An example of that is the own superstitious belief where some of the children believe that we should sleep and our hair is wet because it's not, it may cause from having, having white hairs. So, another, another example of superstitious beliefs is don't put curtain in front of the door because you may experience a bad luck of your living. While most of others, children are not believing in this kind of superstitious belief. Another factor is that different individuals are the race and the nationality. The concept of race and nationality have and continue to be despite this much attention academic and those working in the field have found it difficult to isolate or separate each from other and doing that race, ethnicity and nationality are indivisible but interconnected as these are what shape or what make our identity, these are what we make us who we are. Race refers to physical differences that groups and culture consider socially significant. For example, people might identify the race Asian, Black American or White American or some other race. Race or racial identify simply describe the physical features that a group of persons might have in a common. These have in common uh, this can conclude but are not limited to skin color, um, the facial structure, the eye color, the hair color, 
and the other physical characteristic. For example, in here in Philippines, um, if we have a, a friend that have a curly hair, dark skin, has a brown eyes, then has a flat nose, then we identify that girl or boy is an, an Ita. So this is how we identify individuals. So, but of course, we should be clear about whether you are referring um, to our racial group. For example, you have a student like me, I'm wearing a hijab, then some people might say that girl is Samora or a Moro. So, we should be clear in this because it was already a racism. So, racism is learned behavior where we are socialized to see difference and up upon it. Um, it causes challenges for learning and with school experience. So, racial bias in our school affects student learning and school discipline, as well as influence how students engage with each other. Negative racial attitudes and behaviors are ingrained in our system and institution. However, as the educators, no, we have the opportunity to change outcome in our school and in spite of our existing system. So, it is clear that racism is the act of discrimination against different race based on one's behavior or race is superior. So, the unintended behaviors and consequences of racism are so pervasive that it is sometimes difficult to clearly identify how it affects us. One way is racial bias. Um, which address the attitude or stereotypes no, that affect our action towards a group of people and just so, so we move to nationality so when we say nationality it is refers to the country of citizenship nationality is sometimes used to mean ethnicity although the two are technically different people can share the same nationality like we are filipino but be of different ethnic groups and be people who share an ethnic identity can be different of nationality. Like, I'm a Filipino but I'm under in the Tauso community. Similarly, individuals of different nations show difference in respect of their um, personality, character and mental abilities. These are the outcome of their geographical, social, and cultural environment. So, Many studies have shown the existence of difference between the Americans and Negroes or Chinese and Japanese, English and Indian individuals. So to come up with this, individuals of different countries differ in respect of nature, physical and mental differences, interest and personality. So because of difference in their cultural and geographic materials, so the nationality can be different to in each individual. Next topic will be the six differences. The six differences to about the double male and female and their characteristics. So we all know that the male and female has an advantage and disadvantage when it comes in academic uh, learning. So we all, uh, we all know that the male are the vocational, vocational learning. Which is Learning ability and 
adjustment capacity naturally grow with age. When one grows in age, can acquire better control over our emotions and better social responsibilities. When a child grows, then his maturity and development go side by side. As you age, the way your senses, hearing, vision, taste, smell, and touch give you information about the world changes. Your senses become less sharp and this can make it harder for you to notice details. Aging can affect all of the senses, but usually hearing and vision are most affected. Age differences in cognition are inferred from observing a motor, vocal, or manual response to task stimuli. And age-related changes in the motor system must be taken in account. Although age affects on simple reaction time or mild, aging is accompanied by multiple deficits in planning, control, and execution of movements. Maturity is doesn't always come with age. In fact, it's deeper than age. It's about the way you see and understand things, the way you consider others, the way you communicate, the way you react, the things you value, the way you represent yourself and others as an adult. Everyone grows old, but not everyone grows up. Physical, intellectual, and emotional development is caused by the growth in age. Many individuals differ because of the differences in intelligence. Individuals who are below the average in intelligence and mental age find much difficulty in learning and the average intelligent person can learn quickly.